Are you considering a more affordable retirement life, but don't know where or how to start? Stay tuned, we got ideas for you. Hello everyone, and welcome to World IQ. Today, we will look into the top 10 western towns where you can retire for less than $1,700 per month. The average social security insurance payment every month is roughly $1,658. Considering the increase in living costs, housing, and health insurance, this figure seems to be a lot harder to live on. But we are going to help you increase your world IQ and how to spend that money without tightening your belt in the US. Let's get it! Number 10. Sierra Vista, Arizona. Stats-wise, this town is really a green flag. If you're talking about affordability, then this town really is for you. But keep in mind though, that when we say affordable, we mean affordable for retirees. So, if you're looking for a country club with a golf course and a butler serving you around, you won't find that here. The overall crime rate in Sierra Vista is 3% lower than the national average. Their violent crime rate is 51% lower. A two-bedroom apartment will probably go around $900. This may sound a bit expensive, but it's still well below the national average. If you want to purchase a house, you can find comfortable housing at $200,000 to $250,000. A lot of retirees live here since it's lovely, it's warm, and if you ever need medication and you hate the healthcare system in the United States, then you can just run off to Mexico. It's pretty close anyway. Sierra Vista is about an hour and a half south of Tucson and about an hour and a half from the border at Nogales. With a livability score of 79, retiring at this place is a thing to consider. Number 9. Pueblo, Colorado This place has a cool looking riverwalk, similar to that of San Antonio. It's rich in history, and the median home listing price here is about $244,000. More good news the average rent has gone down 2% over the last two years. And right now, the average sits around $900 a month. Houses for rent cost a bit more, priced at $1,200 to $1,400 for two to three bedrooms and two baths. But if these things don't seem appealing to you, you can find older homes to buy for around $150,000. They're gonna need some renovation though. For anything above $250,000, you'll find fully furnished ones that are ready to go. Pueblo is a really great place to retire, especially for people who love the great outdoors. You're close to the Rocky Mountains, Colorado Springs, it has great water and air quality. With an average livability score of 65 and a monthly expenditure of $1,624, it's not that bad. The only bad news about Pueblo, though, is that its crime rate is 72% higher than the national average. But compared to places like East St. Louis, Detroit, and parts of Chicago, which have crime rates going 300% to 400% higher, it's still significantly less. Number 8. Casper, Wyoming Known for being a friendly town for retirees, it's no wonder why it's on our list. Older homes go for under $200,000. Newer ones start at $300,000. The median rent in Casper starts at $600 a month. The good news about Casper is that they have no state income tax, which is a big help for retirees just trying to get by. With a total monthly expenditure estimated at $1,573 and a livability score of 77, you can start considering moving to Casper, Wyoming. The only negative thing I would say about Casper though is its crime rate is about 30% above the national average. But realistically, it's not that bad. Pocatello, Idaho is number seven on our list. This 
is another great place to consider for outdoorsy people. People who like to go on fishing will have a comfortable time with its great air quality. The crime rate is just 7% higher than the national average. And surprisingly, their violent crime rate is actually below the national average. Home prices have been going up with median prices at $135,000, but they're not very decent. A nice livable house starts at $200,000. And at $300,000, then you really are entering the luxurious price points. Median rent starts at $600 for one bedroom, one bath. With a livability score of 76, retirement in Pocatello will make your life mellow. Number 6. Sydney, Montana Situated along the Yellowstone River, this town can be a great place for retirees. Just about two hours south of the Canadian border, you already have the option to satisfy your medical needs in case the one in the United States becomes a little too expensive. The crime rate though is 3% above the national average, but that's not really much of a worry. With a livability score of 73 and monthly expenditures of around $1,500, it's more than enough to retire comfortably. Number 5. Cedar City, Utah For someone who likes parks, then look no further. Cedar City is the best place for you. If you're going to Zion National Park or Dixie National Park, they're convenient since they're all along the way. It's also not very far from Capitol Reef National Park, and even Bryce Canyon National Park is just about an hour away. The median home value is $180,000. Realistically though, $250,000 is where the nice ones start. If you want to build a house from scratch, you can buy your own lot for $50,000 to $120,000. The average rent is $830 for one bedroom, one bath. Being 30% lower in crime rate than a national average, it's a relatively peaceful place. With a livability score of 73 and a total monthly expenditure of 1,645, you're good to go for retirement. Number 4. West Wendover, Nevada While their numbers regarding crime rate may seem a bit higher, stay with me here. There are a lot of other reasons why you can still consider retiring at West Wendover. If you're not living a dangerous lifestyle, you'll probably be good to go. Housing is where they sparkle and shine. When all you've lived for becomes yours at 128,000, because that's the medium home value. Did you get my reference there? This is your moment to move and retire today. Their rent is around $700 a month for two bedrooms and one bath. Although there aren't many places for rent, there are a lot of places to buy. The utilities are there if you need plumbing and electricity. It's quite convenient to have them installed should you wish to buy a lot and build a house. They have excellent housing development. They have a golf course and a bunch of these lots go on sale for about $50,000. With a livability score of 67 and a total monthly expenditure of about $1,500, this is the cheapest one on our list so far. Before we give you our top three, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And the second runner up goes to Lovington, New Mexico. The stats in Lovington is outstanding. The violent crime rate is 73% lower than a national average. The cost of living is 16% lower than a national average. And the housing industry is a whopping 41% lower than the national average. That's just wow, right? No wonder it's in the top three. The only thing that doesn't make this place shine is that they don't have many jobs. But since we're talking about retirement, you're not really waving your resume around and actively looking for one. With its own country club and the median home value going for $96,000, rent at $700, it's an already enticing place to retire to. The livability score is 74, and total monthly expenditures also go for about $1,500. This is already a nice deal, 
With great sunsets, excellent air quality, and an affordable way of life, Lovington is where you go if you're retiring on a budget, clinching the spot for our number two, Alamogordo, New Mexico. This is where you will find the oldest zoo in the entire southwest region. Not very big, but super cool. It also has the New Mexico Museum of Space History, Lincoln National Forest, White Sands National Park, and Holman Air Force Base. This can be a special place for Air Force retirees. The median home value in Alamogordo is $113,000. The price goes up depending on the space, design, and location of the place you want to purchase. Median rent here is around $788. Crime is only 20% higher than a national average. And with a livability score of 72, all you need is around $1,629 a month, then you can already retire comfortably in Alamogordo, New Mexico. And the winner is... Drum roll, please. Montrose, Colorado. Why? Great place for outdoors. It has a river going through town. You can do lots of fishing and hiking, and you can even go to the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. It's a place where everywhere you look, you'll probably see beautiful landscapes. Median home values start around 182 to $300,000. This range goes from decent to beautiful. The downtown area, while it may be small, it's very busy. They have a distillery, golf courses, clean water, great air quality, and a livability score of 75. The total estimated monthly expenditures are maybe $1,643 bit higher compared to the other places, but we think it's worth it. I hope y'all learned something from this video. Do you agree or disagree with our list? What other towns do you think American retirees would want to live in? Share them below. Please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts about our video. Also, check out our other videos to increase your world IQ.